What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy, Just Jay Sama, is in the building once again. And today we're talking about the division and uh, talking a little bit about the DLC and the season pass. But first, play the intro! Hold up. All right, now that that's out of the way, uh, what's going on, guys? Today, I, uh, well, there's two things that have been boggling my mind. The first thing has been the season pass, and the second has been the microtransactions that may or may not take place in this game. Let's clear this up right now since this is super easy. Here's a couple of quotes right here. Here's some links, specifically with uh, cr the creative director of The Division who has said there will not be microtransactions in the game. Now, uh, to kind of clear that up, there will be packs of DLC that you can purchase um, outside of the game, you know, through first party memes, uh, means. So uh, what you'll be able to do is go into the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Marketplace, the Steam Store, whatever, and be able to purchase packs of stuff. So you can't spend like, so far it hasn't been the Destiny model where you spend uh, $1 for 100 coins in the game or whatever. It's, it's not that, that's not the situation they have. But they do have the situation where you can buy um a pack and within the pack obviously some clothes are going to come in there you'll get a hat some jackets uh uh some obviously some pants some shoes a bunch of other stuff um it's going to be a little limited on the clothes side but you'll get a couple of guns some gear and stuff like that so it's, it's not a there's no details as to what exactly is in every single pack but it is a pack with multiple things in it so you're not just spending money uh to buy one t-shirt or buy one hat or something like that so uh, I just wanted to clear that up. That's the easiest way I can explain it. Um, so there will be DL separate DLC packs outside of this season pass that you can purchase. But there, there's also, it's uh, a lot of people are speculating rather it's the kind of free to play model where you can basically buy the best game, buy the best guns in the game. That is not possible. Uh, he also spoke on that. It's not, you're not able to uh, pay to win essentially. So you can't buy additional more powerful weapons just the weapons that come in the pack um and even that hasn't been discussed so much so that could be something that kind of cuts back a little bit most likely the packs that you buy is automatic it's going to be auto level so if you're level 21 the gun's going to be level 21 so or if you're level 18 and you bought the pack it'll be level uh 18 so i i'm not sure how that's going to work exactly we'll see next week when the game comes out um, but moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about the season pass and, uh, I only know a few bits of information. I'm still researching it. I will, uh, put up another video when I do find out a little bit more information, but within the season pass, there are going to be three expansion packs. So they all come with like some gear, uh, including, uh, I don't know if any of them are going to include the, uh, hazmat gear set that you get for pre-ordering the game. I'm not sure if that's going to be in there, but so far you get, uh, in all three packs, you will get uh a few uh head pieces of gear torso legs gloves so you'll get uh, at least three to five um gear sets per uh pack um the first pack is uh called the underground so obviously that is probably going to pertain a little bit more to the subway system and uh a, a lot more of the stuff going on in manhattan um, but there also is, uh, in the most recent trailer that came out, and there will be another video following up after this one talking about the new trailer, um, there's Brooklyn and Manhattan that they keep mentioning. Uh, Manhattan is already under lockdown, but Brooklyn is on its way to, like, being completely, uh, quarantined and shut off, so maybe that'll probably be in one of the, uh, DLC packs. Uh, the second expansion, which is Survival. Uh, survival is the only one that I know a few, uh, like one bit of information about. In in that one, once you finish the game, uh, after that one has come out, you can basically play the entire game in the dark zone. So you don't have to. You can turn it off if you want, but that's one of the perks of having the second expansion pass. Uh, well, exp expansion pack um, is that you can basically turn the switch on and the whole game is the dark zone. So there's no longer specific quarantined areas i wonder how that's gonna work uh because there are dark zone areas that you can go into with with clear pvp but then the entire map is also available outside of the 
uh, already dark zone areas. Well, think of it like a dark zone in a dark zone. That's that's the PvP area. But the entire map itself is going to be PvP. So you'll be able to still go through those doorways and then enter the ones with regular people who don't have the second expansion. Um, and then the third one is the last stand. The last stand is probably going to be the addition, uh, the additional map areas. So we'll get to explore a little bit more of New York and stuff like that. Hopefully, uh, times well beyond Times Square, Central Park, uh, you know, maybe, uh, explore a little bit of the Empire State Building. Who knows? We'll, we'll know when, uh, more information comes out. Um, there was also a little bit of talk on uh, every month there would be exclusive like drops and specific things. So every month you get rewarded for having the season pass. So let's assume the season pass goes for a length of uh, three to six months after the game's launch. So um, two months after the game's launch, one of the packs drops two more. The uh, pack drops two more months into the sixth month. Uh, the third pack drops every single month you will receive um a basically a loot drop essentially you'll receive some skins some guns uh some some uh modifications some uh cosmetic items you know different stuff uh every month um so they're kind of rewarding the people who decide to get the season pass early so if you if you're somebody like me who usually waits until all the content comes out before you get a season pass this may not be the situation that you want to uh actually uh wait on but there will be regular free patches and things like that, giving players uh, advantages and things like that. So we can expect to see loads of free content coming, uh, even if you don't have the season pass. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today, guys. The season pass actually goes for $39.99. So if you're thinking about it, I'm kind of going back and forth if I want to invest the money or not. Um, so I'll know, but I probably won't get it until a couple of weeks after the game comes out, just so that way I can see if this is something I really want to sink my uh, wallet into. And now another thing I did want to talk about is uh, they are planning to do um, for the, I, I believe it's the second or the first pack, um, essentially raids. They're, they're, they're talking about raids and maybe not raids specifically, but they're, uh, there's a challenge mode essentially where it's you can't play it by yourself and I, I actually saw a little bit more information about this um, in TBH's video when he did the interview with one of the people from Ubisoft on it um, and they were talking about uh, the challenge mode cannot be done uh, solo it just can't like it's too hard you need a team to do it so um, I think that's part of the second pack is that challenge mode and essentially you do need a full squad to actually uh, go through and do those tasks and stuff like that and of course the harder difficulty you set it to the better items you get out of it but I am really looking forward to next week when the game does launch I'm trying to decide if I want to get the game day one and play it with people or do I want to get it early and beat it so um, I'm not sure. I'm a little conflicted on it. Uh, so well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will definitely be live streaming it. Um, we probably won't have any legit live streams until my, uh, my new capture card comes in because the one I have is awesome, but it doesn't, it's not for streaming. So, and I'm looking to get a, a little bit more streaming because streaming, I feel like I can interact with a lot more people that way. Um, but let me know what you guys are you guys excited for the division let me know down in the comments section uh what is your favorite portion of the division so far mine has definitely got to be uh the dark zone I, I i can't like stress this enough that the dark zone is where i'm probably most likely going to spend most of my time um because i've been i've literally been like trying to find something to play for the past two and a half weeks since the beta ended uh because the beta left me with like this this withdrawal that i need to play this game like i i don't know what it is a lot of the people uh, a lot of the people i talk to are meh about the game but i'm essentially super super like over the moon for it even even if the game is not that good if the game is just as good as the beta because the beta was dope if the game's only as good as the beta i will be happy with that but the fact that i know but i do know that this game will be more than what the beta offered so um, but like I said, let me know in the comment section below. This has been Jay, and make sure to keep it canon, guys. I'll catch you guys later. You know how far it is? Jay, don't complain. Just watch the booty cheeks swerve on the sidewalk, and it'll encourage you. <laughs> uh, Quinceanera is when a uh, Hispanic female turns 15, and now she's a woman. About as when she loses her virginity.
Oh no, my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? His room is that he got raped in that game. Do you really think Cloud took it in the ass? Like, no. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, do. like, there's like everything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, oh, and there was a nigga behind me, too. Oh, so he taking you from the back, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man is dying. <laughs> Cause he got like all the inappropriate jokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs>